Hi everyone and welcome to the Zero Pro Trading Platform. In this video, I would like to explore the Alarm Manager configuration and settings. All right, first let's go to the main toolbar and we're gonna check out general preferences. See that we have a sound tab and then we also have configuration for high alarm and low alarm sound settings. So you can adjust the sound settings and also if you want to disable sound settings, make sure you select none. So let's back out of this and we're gonna to go to the alarm manager. You can see I have this currently uh, sorted by last price and to add a new symbol, all you have to do is go to any row, any row and select add alarm. And if you, do, if you wanna disable the alert window, you can just uncheck the box. If the, box, if the box is checked, you're gonna receive an alert window. And then so now let's just add a symbol to our list here. All right, to activate the alert, you have to make sure that the active check, uh, the active box is checked. And then also you have to decide on an alarm price. So there's two different ways to set this. You can also set the condition. Currently we have this one for greater than. So we'll look at a few examples. Let's go to our chart here. And let's say the high price here was $6, around $6.10. And if we wanna receive an alert when the last price is higher than the alarm price, we can set the price here for 610. So let's just let's just type in 610 here. Okay, and you can see now we have this alert is active. All right, if we wanna activate all the other symbols here on the list, we can go to the bottom of the alarm manager here and select activate all. And then now let's do a quick review here. So we have the alert window, which is going to show us the, all right, the alarm window is going to show us some information here for the last price and alarm type. So we can take a look here. We have an alarm, uh, we have an alert here for $4 and 50 cents. All right. And the current price is trading at around $4 and 90. So anytime that the alarm price is higher than the last price, you're going to receive an alert if the condition is set to greater than. So, uh, this one is, this one is for a low limit hit. And so you can see here, we have that uh, row highlighted in red. And the reason is because we have the condition set to less than. So in this example, the alarm, uh, the alarm limit was four, uh, $5 and 40 cents. All right. And then we set that right around here. So when the price dropped, then we got it. We received an alert here and uh, that was the low limit hit. So basically that's how this works. You can also sort uh, by the time, the trigger time, and that's gonna show you each alert here so you can see which alerts are occurring here in real time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let us know and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.